Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Cordant. We are back for some more Solasta Crown of the Magister. We are currently on our way to continue our main quest, the Cradle of Fire. We just had a fight with some goblins. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Wait, why aren't you guys moving? Oh, okay. <laughs> We fought some goblin shamans, which I think was the first time I found them. Okay, nice. We have the Warden Blade done. I mean... I like this, this 2d6 damage. Would it be better to have the Warden Blade? For the extra AC and the capability to cast Spirit Guardians. Hmm. It's really not a trivial choice. Hmm. I think for now I'm just gonna keep this one for the extra damage, and if I find myself needing the extra armor class, <coughs> I'm gonna. Um, Equip the Warden Blade. <coughs> okay, so let's craft some new stuff. This time, I think, for Patricia. And it's going to be, I believe, Whiteburn. So that we have 1d6 piercing damage plus 1d6 acid damage on a short sword for when we go melee. And as far as short swords go, I think that's the only recipe I have for it. We have a lot of stuff for long for long swords, but not that much for short swords. We do have a lot for rapiers, however. But rapiers... Hmm, let me just check this. Doomblade Cut, Black Viper, oh, this would be a nice weapon, man. Yeah, the thing is, I, I can't dual wield with this because of the feats I chose, which I might be regretting a little bit. <laughs> um... Yeah, but this is a very nice weapon. God damn. I'll have to consider this later. <coughs> this might be something to, to actually take. Okay. For now, let's craft Whiteburn. And continue on our way. Doo -doo -doo. Kind of hoping to find a dragon on the way. Like a young dragon. Battle Mage. Battle Mage is it like a spell sword? Maybe. I am surprised my people are uh, sleeping. Yeah, there's, there's, there's an Archmage. Okay, so she's no longer asleep. Ow. Ow. Bitch, will you stop? Magic missiles, really? Huh? Oh, okay, because... <laughs> Sorry, this was loud. <coughs> because she has a necklace. I love this. Okay, so let me see. Um... Okay, nobody's asleep anymore. Never mind. Okay, so I'm gonna try... I could try and banish one. But I think I'm gonna go for the... 
Ah, the great food does consume one of these. Still. I am going to try and go for the jackpot here. Ah no, she's she's too far away for me to do this. Okay, never mind. But I am gonna do this. So let's try and paralyze them. Very good. And let's move closer to the Archmage. Please stay paralyzed. Yes. Yes. So you guys think you're funny, huh? Let's see how you like this. I don't get it. Why do I have to roll for, for a hit when they're paralyzed? You like that? I do like that. Yeah. Some nice crits. Oh my god. Thank you. <coughs> he still lives. Okay, lover. We're gonna go for this. You'll surely prevail. Okay, now I'm curious. Why was this a sneak attack? He's not threatened by anyone except myself. Why? I would love to, to know that, but okay. Take that. Yeah, bitch. Fireball! Nice. <coughs> First time I've actually been hit by a dangerous spell. Maybe aside from the, um, the lightning bolt from the goblins. Tell me who you are. Eh, so not worth it. <laughs> Smack. Strike. Stunned. You cannot defeat me. This guy is still paralyzed, which is wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. I like my ex. It's just normal stuff. Take that, take the ingredients, the gold, the red, the scrolls. Yeah, I mean, I like fighting archmages. They have Oh, they have a lot of interesting stuff, a lot of ingredients, uh, not this, this, what is this? This, if I think, th if this is what I think it is, it's broken. Attacks on this creature have disadvantage as long as it is conscious and able to move. Oh. <coughs> Ceases to function until the next turn if damaged. Okay. It's to balance it out a little bit. Oh man. This is... I'm gonna need a, a new spell focus. But I will definitely want this. It's gonna go for Halvert. Sad that I can't use it, honestly. I mean, I can, I just need to replace my potions. Yep. It's too good to pass up. Uh, I may have a problem here, however. Mm. Maybe not. Wait, I think I still have a, a, a plus one leather armor. 
I freaking sold it, didn't I? Goddamn idiot. Mm. No, but I have I have studded leather at least. Don't I? Please tell me I do. Please. I sold it, didn't I? Man. I I love messing things up. Man, I could have sworn I had another one. Mm. I can't I can't have three of them equipped. I think I'm just going to take out the brooch of shielding <coughs> until I get a, a leather armor plus one. Man, why did I sell that? God damn it. <coughs> okay, okay. It, it, it could be worse. Let's rest. Kind of a waste though. Where are you going? Hmm. Okay. Oh, before I forget, I need to learn my spell, my scrolls. That's something I definitely want to do. This is the worst place we've been so far. Oh, it sure does stink. Sulfur, I think. We're deep in the Badlands, sure. But there is a gem around here. You never know. Remember the gem of abjuration? The crown's signal was just a decoy to find Kithaela. Look, is that an orc totem? Ooh, fighting orcs, I like it. I do like it, okay, okay. So, first of all, before I forget, um, I forgot to attune my item, of course, why wouldn't I? Give guidance to Mr. Cordant here. And... Let's learn... Darkness. Actually, wait. Learn this one first. Just in case there's some kind of limit to the number of spells you can have. Okay, success. Give me another guiding thingy. Let's learn silent. Oh, this is a this is a waste of money. It's a <laughs> a cleric spell. Scribe, C and Viz. This one I don't find to be such an important spell, but... <coughs> but still. If we do come across some kind of enemy that likes to cast Greater in Viz, that will come in handy. Okay, so... Check out what's over here. Holy symbol. Ooh. Oh. I thought it was something like um, <coughs> a special armor. But I guess not. Okay, so how do we cross this? We just jump? Oh, what this? This is a magnesium thingy? Lava stones. Dwarven Thicket. Okay. Can you reach this place? You cannot. Another one over there. Okay, so first let me explore the area a bit. And then I'll decide if I'm gonna use Fly. A rock. A 
another rock. Oh! No, get out there. This is a way up. I think. Well, you can climb either way, so... This seems... This seems... Dumb. <laughs> Dwarven primrose. Ingredient. Okay. Check out what's over here. Primordial lava stones. Hmm. Okay. So I have two places to fly to. And we have a ladder over here. Okay. Okay. Dead bodies. This changes things. That's impressive. Hmm. These are dead orcs, correct? An orc woman? Hmm. She's kind of alone and sad that all people died, so I was wondering if she could give me some information. <clears throat> and killing a lone orc doesn't really give a lot, so. She's helpless. Let's show mercy for once. I'll take care of that. She'll be on her feet very soon. Talk to the Orc Shaman. You heal me. Yep. Why not kill me? Nyak Ami Anda. A Nyak who speaks Orc? Kebra oh. like to know your story. Kebra. This is not time for that. My people. Oh, dead. Arak did that. Arak is a Red Scar tribe shaman. Powerful. But so powerful, I not know. Other orcs did this? Many tribes in the Cradle of Fire always fighting. Arak always ambitious. Oh. But now Arak has power of fire. Probably a gem. New power. You said Arok was more powerful than you thought. Arok came to Sun Cloud, told a shift and Brock to bend the knee. Brock said no. Arok burned. Everyone took Brock prisoner. Huge balls of fire from his hands. Many, many flames. Never seen Oak Shaman so powerful. Hmm. Arok said he found power in Cradle of Fire, Heart of Mountain. Heart. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yep. Arok found the gem of evocation. Many fireballs. Our gems don't do that. In any case, we need to find this Brock. Hmm. Lead us to a rock and we'll avenge your tribe. Agreed. We're going to Volcano. Maybe find Brock alive. She's gonna be a critical companion? Yep. <coughs> she is. Now, Kebra, 52 HP and she a- Dude, why does she have so many spells? Okay, I'm not gonna complain. 
horsey, long strider. Thunderway, ooh, shocking grasp, ray of frost. Okay, definitely some cool stuff here. Hmm. I like it, I like it. Her HP is very low, however. Another letter. Okay. His name was Turiel Duskfall. A childhood disease left him deaf and disfigured. Poor guy. He found his sole pleasure in life from fishing in the streams at night. Silent and at peace, he was not judged when alone in the dark. Thus, he developed a skill that gave him value in the eyes of the Sylvan Elves, who otherwise viewed him as imperfect and damaged. He was also my brother. I covered his body with a cairn of stones on the riverbank where I found it. They had taken his rod and his fish, the bracelet he had from our father, his filleting knife, everything. So I tracked them. They were many and arrogant, but I had little else to do and all the time in the world. Four died before they learned to leave guards at night, two more before they learned to make sure the guards were sober. Six of them slept together in a tent. I slit the throats of the three largest and left the rest to their sweet dreams. By the time they made Port Harrow, they were telling stories of the hordes of night witches who descended upon them from the haunted bows of Colthanin, drinking the blood of their friends and depopulating entire villages. More died there, where they mistakenly believed the crowds would give them safety. An envoy from my people came, asking me to stop. I indicated that I would do so the day my brother came back to life. I have not done so. Stranger, if you find this scroll, by the cairn by the river, I ask that you leave it be, and say a prayer for the soul of my brother. Stranger, if you find this scroll... Ah, okay. If you find this scroll by the cairn of the river, and disturb the cairn, or take the scroll, know that I will find you. They call me Night Plague. This sounds like a challenge. I'm going to take it, obviously. Uh, was this it? Yeah, it was. Okay. Wait, you have this equipped. Wait, does everyone have a ring equipped? We do. And I kind of forgot to check what it did. That. Ring of Poison Resistance. They are oh, oh, requires attunement for that. <coughs> not worth. I say not worth. Uh, going to cautious mode. Okay, so there's stuff up here that needs flying to get to. There's an orc totem over here. More containers. I'm intrigued about this night plague. Diamonds, some rations. Oh, and this is the place I want to be. Okay. So, wait. I guess I just need to fly. Right over here and over there. Everything else I've picked up. Correct. Okay. Um, go over here. No need for caution. 
I think I might have a short rest to attune some items here. Okay, so cast flying on Corgan. And Corgan's gonna pick this up. Dwarven Primrose. Some sort of gem. Really? So which one? Ah, I'm missing this one, never mind. Primordial Lava Stones. Okay, go back to my team. And we are going to take a short rest <clears throat> to attune the items. I want to double check that my stuff is as it should be. So I'm going to take out the brooch. I'm going to be wearing the cloak of displacement. Man, if only I had the goddamn leather armor. What an idiot. Once per day, when you complete a short rest, you can recover a number of, exp of expended spell slots, max 5th level, up to half of your wizard level rounded up. I only used one of these, so... Take a short rest. <coughs> A tune item. I'm gonna remove this and place this. Okay. And now you are wearing the brooch. You are wearing not much. Actually, the ring of feather falling, I'm not sure I want it. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I prefer this to this. I don't get a lot of people casting magic missiles. And even if they do, they don't break my concentration. Then again, I'm already resistant to poison because we are dwarves. So never mind, let's put this here. Okay. What do you have? You have your stuff. Um, you can wear these. Sure, why not? Okay. Nice. So I have displacement, or I should have displacement. Correct. What's it say? Attacks on this creature have this vengeful. Oh, okay. This looks ominous. Oh god. Your friend? Arbal, strong warrior. Arbal make peace with Arak. Guard entrance now. Hmm. So we need to fight. Or talk? Or sneak around. Oh, okay, I don't even have a choice to, like, just straight up attack them, because they're friendly. So, there's really no... Ooh. There's really no point in me sneaking around. Let's just... Um, when I speak to him, I'm probably gonna get my people all brought down, but just in case... Let's see what happens if we only send Corgan. Tabla. Good. You're not dead. Who your Nyak friends? Before Arak, Arbal would kill Nyaks. Hmm. Oh. 
I'm thinking because I want to fight, but we already took her in as a friend. So Hmm. Let's not upset her. Okay. Nyark ami anda karko abal. Nyark speaks. Kebra teach them? Is there any way we can get in? To kill orcs inside? Think not. We want to help Kebra. Sodcloud dead. Brock hanging in market. You're strong. Why don't you stand against a rock? Him too powerful. Maybe with all tribes together. Not possible. Nah, we'll kill him. What tribe are you from, Arbal? Arbal is blood spear. How many tribes are there in the volcano? Four. Sun Cloud is dead. Other tribes. Red Scar, tribe of Arak. Also Sand Raven, Blood Fay, and Blood Spear. <laughs> Such poetic names. I'm quite moved. <laughs> Brock alive? After fighting Erok? Brock not want to die. Plenty tough. Arok put him on display in market. So, if we could free him, Suncloud would not be dead anymore? Two orc tribe? <laughs> Plenty strong mm. that tribe. <laughs> Hmm. Let's go for persuasion. So can we go free Brock? Lots of red star orcs in there. Arba like to see that fight. Let the Nyarks go. Okay, so he doesn't join me. He's not necessarily a friend of Kebra. So let me just check out how this fight would go. Uh, what's his name? Arval. How would the fight go? Me interested. Me curious, Nyark. <laughs> because if he's like a boss fight, it could be very interesting to use to do that. Okay, so now we know we can just go in. Yeah, yeah, I know this. I know this. I know this. Let's go and speak to the man. Or actually, let's custom mage armor here. Now let's go speak to the man. Okay. Move away or die, bitch. You should step away. Before we kill you. Ha! Thank you, Nyark. That make my day. Dude, these initiative rolls, not the best. Ooh! He actually hits Corgan. Oh, you bitch, he rolls 19 you twice? Why, why is everything red? Ah, okay. It, the cursor was over there. Okay, so you think you're tough. He's not a boss. He's just a regular orc. Um, eh, beat him up. Oh. 
Man, these these other rolls are so low. <laughs> the piercing damage ones. Oh, okay, nine damage. Thank you. Yeah, he's not very powerful. Let's say. Why is this orc berserker neutral? Am I gonna get screwed by the, the game? <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. Well, I can just kill him now. Good night. He does. Well, let's see what kind of loot he has. Check out if it's worth killing or if just gonna go with the peaceful resolution. Yeah, so the, the Berserkers are friendly for some reason, I don't know why. Is it because I have Kebra in my party? Perhaps. Perhaps. You know what, dude? Smack. <laughs> uh, I have two uses of powering thingy. Oh, wonderful. Try again. Strike. Okay. They have a lot of constitution. Now, what do you want to do? Maybe go for a shocking rasp. Cannot use reactions. That's actually pretty cool. Cannot reach. What do you mean? Are you handicapped? Wait, why do I have advantage again? Ah, target wears metal armor. Cool. Damage. <clears throat> okay, so we get a little bit more of experience. Any particularly good item? No, just some gold, some rations, and that's kind of it. Okay, let's go for our first choice. Of persuading Mr. Arval and continue on from there. The game is feeling pretty easy at this point. Okay, so let's check out the lootings over here. Something good, I hope. I will never say no to that. I don't think I've even used one acid. Okay, and before I forget, I do want the mage armor on me. Oh, this is open, okay. So now we gotta be cautious, I think. Never mind. Now we gotta be cautious. Is this the market? It is the market. Look at that. This was market. All could come. More like a military outpost. Threatska take to control entrance to volcano. Is that your chieftain? That Brock there? That Brock? Some cloud chief. Arok show him off as prisoner. He's not chained. So Rock thinks he's smart. Too bad for him. He should have killed Brock when he had a chance. Let's go. Hmm. Okay. I don't buy this idea that the guy is just standing here. Ah, okay, there are some guards. Never mind. Okay, so no path destination for those two. 
You know what this makes me think? This makes me think that maybe... No, never mind. I was gonna say that maybe... I should have the cloak to... Walk on walls. Since my strength doesn't allow me to, to climb... That would. But yeah, not gonna happen, I don't think. Okay, there's a resting place, there's a beast master, a shaman, a red scar orc, dire wolf, red scar. There's a lot of people. <clears throat> this fight might take a while. So I actually think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and find a place where I would like to fight and then maybe end the episode there because this fight will take a long time I know it for sure too many enemies can we get up here? okay apparently everybody can get up here I don't know how and this bitch is gonna see... okay so you two who cannot climb need to go through the ladder okay so abort plan a trap nice we're gonna have to approach this uh, in a different way yeah I'm gonna bring Patricia up here I think Maybe also Corgan. I might bring everyone up here and just leave Cordumt and Kendra on the bottom. And then see how we can progress. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to find that out. So yeah, I'm gonna end this episode here because as I said, I think this fight will take a while. So I prefer to do that in a fresh episode, so that this, this one doesn't go on too long. So, as always guys, thank you very much for being here in the channel, choosing this channel to watch some Solasta with me. Um, if you guys have any thoughts, any questions about the game, leave a comment. If you want to get notified about future videos coming to the channel, feel free to subscribe, and I hope to see you all in the next episode, where we will be fighting in this grand arena against some orcs, trying to free the Brock Chieftain, friend of Kebra. Until then, stay safe everyone.